Stoichiometry provides a set of tools that chemists use to manipulate quantities of substances. In working with chemical quantities, it is important to remember that each quantity has associated with it both a unit and a chemical substance. And it is important to always write both of these down. So, for example, we will write 4.1 kilograms of water, or 0.23 moles of oxygen, or 3.0 times 10 to the 21st atom sodium. Dimensional analysis provides us with the tools needed to convert between different units of measurement. Let's say we have the definition. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. We can take this definition and form a ratio. 1,000 grams over one kilogram is equal to one. And the inverse of that, one kilogram over 1,000 grams is equal to one. These ratios are useful since they allow us to convert from quantities in grams to quantities in kilograms and vice versa. Consider, for example, the quantity 4.1 kilograms of water and say we want to convert this quantity to grams of water. We begin by writing down our initial quantity of 4.1 kilograms water. Next, we multiply the ratio 1,000 grams water over 1 kilogram of water. Remember that above this ratio was shown to be 1, so we are just multiplying our initial quantity by 1. This multiplication does not change the amount of water. It merely changes the units we are using to describe this amount of water. This multiplication gives the value 4,100. To determine the units of this quantity, we cancel the kilograms water and are left with grams water. So we achieved our goal of converting the quantity 4.1 kilograms of water over to that same amount expressed in grams of water. Let's do another example of a unit conversion. Say we are given the density of water as one gram of water per milliliter of water. And we want to express this in units of grams of water per liter of water. For this conversion, we will need the definition that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. We begin by writing our initial quantity. Our goal is to convert the units of the denominator from milliliters of water to liters of water. We can do this by multiplying the ratio 1,000 milliliters of water over one liter of water. From the above definition, we know this ratio is equal to one so this changes only the unit of quantity, not the quantity itself. The multiplication gives the value of 1,000 and units of grams of water per liter of water. So we have achieved our goal of converting the density of water from units of grams per milliliter to units of grams per liter. A particular useful unit in chemistry is that of the mole. The mole is defined as Avogadro's number of items where Avogadro's number is often abbreviated as Na and has the value 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So the definition of the mole can be written as one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd items. This unit definition gives us the ratios. One mole over Avogadro's number of items equals one and Avogadro's number of items over one mole equals one. Let's say that we have 0.43 moles of water and we would like to convert this to molecules of water. We begin by writing down our initial quantity of 0.43 moles water. To convert this to molecules of water, we multiply by the ratio. Avogadro's number of water molecules per mole of water molecules. The multiplication gives the value 2.6 times 10 to the 23rd with units of molecules of water. So we have achieved our goal of converting our quantity from moles of water over to molecules of water.